Hi, it's Nell, and today I'm going to decorate this frame with succulents. And here's the frame here, just a plain frame. And it was a real bargain because I found it on the street. I have a little bit of Metallic Masters left over in bronze and this um, shiny gold, and I'm just going to do a brush of this frame just to dress it up a little bit and add some pizzazz. So here's the frame. I slightly distressed it. I took this darker bronze and I just brushed it, brushed it over, and then I took some, some water and then diluted it down on the frame, and then I took a little bit of the gold and I just did some highlights to it. So it just kind of uh, picks it up, and it took me about maybe three minutes to do this. For this project, the mosaic project, I used Coco Qua in a sheet. But for this one, I'm going to use the Spanish moss. And my Spanish moss is way too dry. I've got to get some new, new moss because it's much more pliable. So I'm just going to make it a little bit more pliable by wetting it. And you don't have to worry about wetting it and the glue not sticking because this glue sticks to anything. So. And I am going to place three, these three uh, mounds of moss, I, I guess you'd call them, at different angles on the frame. And I'm going to glue this right onto there. And because I to be slightly off. I don't want them to be even. I'm going to do this. Just put the moss, the, the glue directly on the moss. Right there. And that gives me the base to put the succulents on. So instead of putting these succulents in the frame, as you have probably seen sometimes, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to put them on the frame. So I had to put a little bit more hot glue behind each moss blob because um, I picked it up and they were falling off. So down here on this smaller one, I'm going to do this lot larger aeonium. That one's just going to get one. And I put the hot glue on the back a fair amount. And then I'm going to glue it right on in the moss here. So I'm going to set a few of these up here and there. And then I'm going to glue them in. And I'm going to show you how, how it's coming along. And this is not as long lasting as if it's planted in the frame because that's another thing you can do. And you put it over a base and then the screen and then you can plant the succulents directly in there. I'm going to have a little surprise in the middle, which you'll see. Sometimes you just have to play with it to get it to stay with it. I'm going to let it dry for just another few seconds to just to make sure everything's on. And if the moss is bothering you, the odds and ends, you can just trim it off. There you go. Very simple. Very easy, and the frame still shows. And now, we're gonna do the surprise. So, I decided to do one of my air plants in the middle, j j just for some extra fun. It's tied on fishing line. You can tie it on, on cord or, or whatever you want to. I like the look of it, a little, little bit suspended. And because it had a long uh, a root stem here hanging, I just covered up that with a little bit of lichen and I took a threaded tape, a strong threaded tape and I'm just attaching it that way on um, um, the back. The hot glue would work too. And if you were going to hang this, of course, you would want to have a hanger on it <laughs> or you could just lay, lean it against something. Oops! That hot glue just gets all over everything and that just gives you like a fun little piece. What you would do about once a week is just take and you want to spray your air plant and you can spray the succulents and you don't have to worry too too much about the frame. 
Now just remember to use un enough glue so that everything stays on. Um, you can also use a glue gun too. There's cool melt glue. I'm going to be getting one of those soon because it'll be easier for these finer projects. I used to have a Christmas decorating business, so I have this big Mac Daddy fry pan over there. And there you have it. Instead of a framed piece of art, you have succulent art on, on a frame. I hope this has inspired you to make a project like this of your own, especially if you find a frame for free, uh, like I did along the road side. You can, you can find them at yard sales, easy uh, thrift stores. It's really easy to find them. So please subscribe because I have a lot more crafting and, of course, gardening videos coming your way. Speaking of gardening, let's get out in the garden and make the world a more beautiful place. I thank you for your comments and for your likes, and thank you, and bye.